came prepared. Tema is a town, fictional town, that represents depression and other mental problems. Trench is a place where you get help from those issues. I came prepared. I don't want none of you motherfuckers to come at me and say, Oh, that 21 pilots thumbnail, it disturbs me. Disturbs me. It's written with numbers, 21. Not written as. <laughs> not written with letters, 21. That disturbs me. Uh, uh, the whole video is pointless without it. No, no. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I'm just joking around. Please don't take it seriously. I love you. I love you. Mwah. And I was thinking, what was it? Oh, the Levitate video? I reacted to Levitate. Indeed, I was kind of more focused on revealing my brother, uh, Hugo. I... <coughs> I really wanted him to, uh, you know, to be in more of my YouTube videos. But unfortunately, he went to um, college, you know, he lives in dorms right now in a fucking UCSD. I hate UCSD. That's the worst school ever you can go to. University, UC, U, U, UC, University of California, San Diego. Yeah, that's the abbreviate chair. <laughs> anyway, if you're here for the first time, I bet you're like, what the fuck is going on with this dude? But for my uh, fans, for my um, viewers, this is a common thing, don't worry about it, my brother. Uh, now you're <laughs> joining the club of awkwardness and uh, cringe-worthy videos. <laughs> and bro, like seriously, I so I was more focused on uh, really my brother, right? So he's, he's not available right now. But he will be, uh, because he is a really interesting dude, uh, has a cool character in, in him. But um, yeah, so I didn't give enough attention to what's happening on Levitate video, in my opinion, and also in the opinion of others, because, uh, you know, there are so many fan theories going on around this 21 Pilots uh, new album, Trench, and also, you know, this is not the first time they're doing it, they did it on Blurry Face as well, I believe, so um, it's just like fictional stories like going on, like... Uh, uh, in Trench is a sequel sort of to Blurry Face and uh, I'm I'm not really familiar with it but I kind of came prepared you know so so that you fucking <laughs> fucking shut your mouth already you know <laughs> I'm tired of you <laughs> judging me I cannot know everything in the world when it comes to music okay I listen to certain genres I try to be open-minded, I do listen to a lot of music, honestly. I listen to pop, listen to rock sometimes, not often, but uh, pop, hip-hop, really heavily hip-hop, um, electronic music, EDM, dubstep, you know, alternative for sure, although I hate, hate Imagine Dragons at this point, what they do in their career, I used to like them, now I hate them, by 21 Pilots they still have their own flavor they still don't give up their own sound into the mainstream I really love it so and 21 pilots like this all four singles which dropped my hair is messy god damn the, they, the, they dropped I really loved all of them I'm really enjoying this project you know so far what they have shown us so let's get into it I'm hyped trench 21 Pilots, first reaction, let's go. Track 1, Jumpsuit, we all already heard it, but um, I cannot just skip it, you know, because uh, I really want to get into, get the full experience of Trench, and this is a great track, I, I miss it, <laughs> I miss listening to it, so let's listen to it. <laughs> Jumpsuit, jumpsuit, come 
the jumpsuit is um, sort of uh, help uh, to escape from the demo, from that depression, from sadness, from a dark place. Track to levitate. Yep. <laughs> Fantastic track as well. Yeah, Tyler goes off on this. It's fantastic. I like his rapping on this one. And of course, not only rapping, but like the instrumentals, you know. This feel, the atmosphere is fantastic. Welcome to Distraction. Alright, track three, I have not heard this one. What was it? Uh, What's the track? Morph, okay. Fucking instrumental! Oh shit, it's fuzzing my ears! Ooh! Bruh! Damn, bruh! For if he's purely panic, and when is solemn sorrow, and one invades the day, while bruh. the spies tomorrow were surrounded, yep. and were hounded, try to sing this. Bro, there's a band, um, it's called Metafix. They used to be a thing back in 2005, 2007. Their biggest hit is uh, Big City Life. So, this band. What they used to do is basically similar to what 21 Pilots is doing now with uh, not necessarily with tracks like Jumpsuit but tracks like Morph and Nico and the Niners that uh, Jamaican vibe you know it's it's there and I fucking love it you know these instrumentals and the way they singing also reminds me of Madafix and uh, that they used to be uh, you know, my, one of my favorite bands back in the day, um, not now because, you know, they, they're not singing, they're not creating new music anymore together, but, damn, <clears throat> like, it's so reminiscent, like, and I, I like, I like the style, uh, it definitely even, like, brings me to the, my childhood, honestly. Check out M- M- uh, Metafix if you like me, my pilots, like, I'm sure you will not be disappointed. Continue. Yes. The morph, you know, like uh, Tyler sings how he wants to morph into someone else, like stuff like that. And uh, again, it's all related to the uh, Dama Trench theory, um, you know, like storyline. I, you know, as I told you, yes, I came prepared, <laughs> but it doesn't mean that I will be able to still uh, recognize some uh, deep meaning behind these words, like they're singing right now. Um, you know, so I think I will just leave the theory stuff alone uh, and just will enjoy the music. Um, but you know, <clears throat> on on track like Levitate, they uh, they were a lot of references to uh, the songs um, from the past, like the album Blurry Face, also the song Car Radio. Like there were references to those things as well. So and me as a person who um yes aware of 21 pilots uh, famous singles let's say from the past but i have never heard an entire project by 21 pilots before today so this is my first 21 pilots project i'm listening to fully uh yes i did uh listen to most of the blurry face i think i've 
I've heard like first eight tracks from there for sure and uh, probably if uh, you know some singles from Twin Man Pilots uh, that came out from Blue River Face was you know lower uh, like beyond the track eight probably I heard those as well uh, but yeah uh, when I was listening to the album it was like I did listen to that point and then I kind of stuck. I don't know why. <laughs> it doesn't mean that I don't like it. It's just uh, I actually was really impressed when I heard it back in 2015. It was like, damn, that that's that's a new music. Like that's a new wave. That's I really love this. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I kind of what happened there. I don't know why I di didn't like dig into this that much. But uh, still, I always I will always uh, respect the 21 Pilots. I always. Uh, was listening to the songs at least that were on the radio which were really famous you know the song um, na -na 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 -time, na -na -all days. what was it what was this track's name I already forgot <laughs> stressed out of course stressed out uh, stressed out um, freaking I forgot all the names. I, I, my plan was <laughs> I wanted to mention at least 521 Pilot songs I know. You know, of course, Heathens uh, probably is still my favorite 21 Pilot song. It's so goddamn gorgeous. And gorgeous. <laughs> gorgeous. Uh, and incredible. Um, but yeah, you know, they have plenty of great, great songs. And um, I'm enjoying this strange, like, all five songs I've heard so far. Pure blessing. Mwah. Pure fires. <laughs> Bellissimos. And um, I'm enjoying it. Track 4, My Blood. Um, you know, My Blood is a, one of the tracks I've heard already. But I, I actually didn't listen to this on camera yet. I didn't do a reaction to My Blood. So, of course, we're gonna when listen to it as well. You're facing down a dark hall. Go with you, I'll go with you, I'll go with you, I'll go with you, I'll go with you. If you think that I'm under drugs, no, I'm not. <laughs> this is just basically me. <laughs> yes, I can be that weird. <laughs> Before we go into uh, track five, actually, I forgot to mention that um, you know the transition between jumpsuit and levitate is so goddamn beautiful. It's <laughs> when I heard it first time, I was so impressed, and I got an orgasmic feel out of this because. Um, it was so goddamn smooth. I mean, it's still smooth, you know. You, see, you can still hear that. Um, it's still there. I just, I just love it. The transition was perfect. Track five, chlorine. And apparently, it's the longest track. Oh, second longest track on the album. Okay. Nice addition. Oh. Uh, pretty good track. Um, you know, I was sitting there and just listening to it, like just uh in inhaling <laughs> what Twenty One Pilots was doing, uh, I was just um, you know the fact that I was not like hyped or like danced to it like doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy it. Um, really beautifully assembled track. I really liked it. Uh, track six, Smith Smitherins, Sm Smitherins, Smitherins. <laughs> 
You know I've always been collected, calm and chill The thrill But if I'm feeling Someone stepping towards you can't describe Just what I'm feeling Enjoy the track more and more. It's really like there are moments where sonically it's playing so much that I'm like, ah, oh, like wow. <laughs> you know, I'm getting that orgasmic feel, eargasmic feel. Awesome, awesome track. Track seven, Neon Gravestones. I could use the streams and extra combos. My opinion will not be lenient. My opinion, it's real convenient. Our words are loud, but now I'm talking action. We don't get enough level, they get a fraction. You know, like, if you mean concert, you get that uh, uh, lighter, yeah, lighter, and then you make that fighting basically in like a not tragic necessarily, it's just like a soulful moment of the concert. Well, these days actually people use their phones and use their flashlights to do that. But back in the day, I kind of, an old guy, <laughs> not an old guy, but like old fashioned guy, like uh, kind of, I, I like some stuff to were before, you know, like. You know, of course, new stuff is usually better, but sometimes they replace something really good. And like, I think like, just one of the many examples were that like, you know, people didn't use their phones before and actually were into watching the performance. Uh, I mean, they still do, but it's just like now it's like through the screen sometimes. And also they, you were using lighters before and it's just like kind of i don't know kind of cooler vibe from it uh, kind of more raw uh, aesthetically but especially for 21 pilots it's kind of like kind of would match but anyway the song is really good all songs from this is really good so far at least <laughs> Maybe we swap out what it is that we hold so high Find your grandparents or someone of age Pay some respects for the path that they paved To life they were dedicated Now that should be celebrated Oh, It's funny, like, I, I was talking about the old old school, right? Um, and Tyler is talking about um, how we should, you know, look back And also, um, you know Damn, I forgot what you said. Hold on. But basically, like, we have to, like, celebrate um, about past and, like, their lives, what they contributed uh, to, to, the, to shape our present, right? That should be celebrated. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, track 8, The Hype. Yeah, it's still like great in this um, day and age where, you know, in the music you don't typically listen to, um, you don't hear live, like instrumentals like guitar, drums, what else is there, piano, uh, you know, you don't, you, you don't hear that because like technology is so advanced uh, these days that music can be created using you know uh, logic ableton 
platforms like softwares like that where you don't have to even play something in real life just create notes over there and like shape a song without using real instruments without playing real instruments right you know you can uh, create trap beat you know electronic beat or like rappers well rappers use actually trap beats yeah but well basically you got the point uh, and it's just my point was that I like the fact that 21 pilots are using uh, those instruments live instruments and you still have that feeling of the band you know with drums like fucking everything up and like uh, you know it, even if like, they, they are not rock band you know I'm glad that still you still have you have the feeling of it at least um, and 21 Pilots is one of the only few few artists which are uh, in on the mainstream in the mainstream landscape you know in the radio you know you can hear those kind of um, style of music so it's nice I, I'm just taking a moment to appreciate 21 Pilots <laughs> You know, like if <laughs> this album was released a little bit earlier this year, this particular song probably would have ended up on FIFA 19. It really fits to the FIFA 19 vibe. Or any FIFA, actually. Yeah, and that would have been dope. <laughs> FIFA 19 soundtrack. 21 pilots, real hype. <laughs> Track 9 Nico and the Niners. Cut my lip. Bandito and Bandito apparently is uh, <laughs> so the Banditos represent the people who are depressed um, or suffering from mental health problems and they support each other through, um, through each other's tough times um, by the way we can all be Banditos ladies and gentlemen if you have any problems like you know if you if you're feeling low like just hit me up I'm not a person who is like oh I'm, I'm here 
and you guys are here like you know like i'm just a regular dude as you guys are like um some of you probably much more superior than me when it comes to like let's say status i guess like you know the, it doesn't matter like it's not the status that like it's not social like it's not important what important is at the end of the day we're all still humans you know no matter what like no matter if we are rich or poor we can we, we still um can feel depressed or like you know there's anxiety and stuff like that issues like people go through some rough times and you need some support um when when it's there you know don't be afraid to seek out some help from even professionals if you need to there's nothing wrong with that um you seek out help also from your family from friends you know like if you uh, need to distract from yourself uh from your thoughts excuse me distract yourself uh, from your like you know thoughts like fucking up your mind like you know like they're they are there especially at night times when you want to sleep but you can't <laughs> uh just hit someone up like talk uh hang out with people seek new adventures uh, get some new friends you know uh be passionate about something like find find that passion again like uh if you're feeling really broken right now inside and um what i wanted to say actually hit me up as well uh, i can be also that person who you can talk to you know um like instagram twitter i used to give out my snapchat i don't know why i stopped giving that but if you want here it is look snapchat uh what was my username look it's B R B A R C A F U N. B B R is my initials. Uh, Bob Rustamov, Barca, Barcelona, and fun is fun. <laughs> Barcelona is a uh, is my favorite football club. Uh, so yeah, like hit me up. Don't be shy. <laughs> also, uh, for any business inquiries. <laughs> <laughs> just in case my email is also available if you go into the about tab of this channel you will find out my email and you can also hit me up over there so <laughs> uh, we discussed about bandidos uh, let's be bandidos you know let's support each other and uh, I'm your own I'm your uh, bandido now from now on you can count on me Bandido, track 11, let's go. I can take the high road, but I know that I'm going low. I can take the high road, but I know that I'm going low. This is the song we make, when in between two places. Right, synth pop instrumental popped up. You know, uh, we talked about Tyler a lot in this video, but never mentioned Josh, the second member of this group. Um, Josh is a drummer, and uh, I just gotta say that uh, he's a maestro. Like he is a, he's really um, efficient, um, proficient <laughs> on on the drums. He's doing a really nice job on this album. Track 12, Pet Cheetah. This is a little bit different than they were than what they were doing uh, before this. No, I move slow. I wanna stop time. I Um, that might be first track where I 
I was like, eh, maybe it's not that good. But it's not that bad, too. It's just okay. It's just, I, I just didn't like some of the elements involved in the track, like, do, 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 do. the instrumental um, was not the most appealing thing for me uh, on the track. But, uh, track 13, Legend. <laughs> Hawaiian or Jamaican guitar play. It's like a simple times kind of thing I've implemented into the track as well. And the last track, Leave the City, track 14. It's a pretty nice way to finish the album. It's like slower track kind of calmly exits its way out what I mean beautiful beautiful ending to this album and this is definitely um, you know, one of the strongest albums of this year, um, probably will end up being on my top 10, um, not guaranteeing or anything yet, you know, because I don't know the shape of the list, you know, the albums I'm going to include, you know, uh, for sure there will, there, I know some of them, of course, already at this point, for sure that I'm adding, but yeah, like the top albums video, top songs of the year video is coming uh, probably will be dropping around Christmas but um, this album is really strong and I'm I'm really I really enjoyed uh, listening to this album and what I also wanted to say is that the Blurry Face album was uh, about Tyler's you know inner inner demons and like the struggles and dark thoughts he's he was um, fighting you know, and the trench was sort of similar but in the trench album at least he's um, I think he's able to conquer them like he's saying that you know now I'm kind of owning it I'm kind of Strange is a place where I can control it. It feels better. Yeah, and like in this uh, "Leave the City" song, the last song, he also said like, "I'm I'm far from home, but in Strange, at least I'm not alone." Like he he doesn't feel that lonely anymore. Like he he kind of in a better place now, which is good. Which is good for Tyler. Um, so yeah, that's that's the uh, Twenty One Pilots theme. Like what's going on um, you know when it comes to the lyrics and sonically it was a fantastic experience I like I just love the aesthetics of the sound like the yellow black the the eagle I believe it was on the, on the cover can we call it an eagle it's a bird. <laughs> I'm not sure which bird it is though. But anyway, I just love the aesthetic. Like the the cover fits perfectly to the mood, to the to the sound of most of the songs, and like just the way it's shaped. I, I like it. I like the way they sound. And um, no complaints about the album. For me, this is eight out of ten. That's my rating I'm giving. Um, the reason is not like 10 out of 10 let's say it's just uh i'm just comparing it to the al other albums uh, of this year I just it's my personal taste i just um feel like there were 
um, better albums for me you know uh, and you know which ones if you uh, are familiar with this channel uh, you know uh, those albums got 10 out of 10 so or like <laughs> uh, out of excitement I, I gave uh, some albums 100 out of 10 <laughs> uh, I will not name which ones but um, yeah like this is 8 out of 10 this is a really strong album um, and yeah I'll just end it in that <laughs> my energy is kind of is, is lower um, by, by the time I'm, I'm done with this album but uh, doesn't mean that I'm not uh, excited about this album or I didn't enjoy about uh, in the, I didn't enjoy this album no it's just the songs are the songs were pretty emotional uh, the songs were you know not to dance to but actually listen to what's happening in there so yeah that's my thoughts leave your thoughts in the comments below what do you think about this album uh, if you know I've not provided enough material in terms of 21 pilots context you know like demo trench thing please uh, let the world know um, let other people know uh, more details about the trench uh, let me know about more details on trench you know uh, shout out to David Cameron Skidmore um, who you know provided me uh, the theory the explanation about Dima look he, like on email by the way the reason why I gave you my business inquiry <laughs> like uh, Gmail basically is because uh, you know there are people contacting me like that and like explaining me about this the songs they care about uh, this like all it's hard to see. it's hard to see <laughs> but anyway like it's uh, look <laughs> I had to read all that, okay? <laughs> okay, that's the next message, but yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was it was worth it, and thank you for sharing the knowledge. I'll see you guys in the next ones. Keep commenting, please uh, let me know what you guys want me to react next, and uh, what would you rate this album yourself? Please let me know, and uh, until the next times. Goodbye.